Hey everyone, so in this part of the vlog, I'll be talking about how you can make a gold crown. The first step you want to do is make a daikin model after you have prepped the crown, which is the piece that I'm taking out right now. And if you don't know what a crown is, it is pretty much like a cap that you put on your tooth that has basically your cavity is too large for you to have a regular restoration. So then after that, we're going to wax up the crown and I didn't actually wax this up thank goodness then we're going to take the ring and the ring liner and assemble it and this is going to be the contraption that we put our little wax then we're going to take our waxed up crown and stick it on this yellow thing called a sprue after that so now we're going to fill up the ring with a fast fire and gypsum and let it dry after it's dry, we put it in the oven for about 30 minutes. The point of putting the ring inside the oven is that so the waxed and the sprue, the yellow thing, can be melted and then that way the gypsum basically is makes this mold that we can pour the gold inside. In the next step, we're going to put um, some gold pieces in the crucible, which is that white thing over there. This is different from the thing that we put in the oven, by the way. Then we need to spin it around because basically we want to create some centrifugal force. So once we put the ring right next to the crucible, it will basically suck up the gold, if that makes sense. So heating it up shouldn't take too long if you do it right and then once it is hot enough here we're taking the little ring and placing it right next to the crucible and then after that spinning it and like i said the gold gets sucked up into that ring and it forms into the mold of the wax Then we're going to take the ring and place it into water to help the gold become more malleable. And then when it's cold, we basically crack open the thing and you get this gold inside that is in the shape of the wax. It's kind of dirty so you're going to need to sandblast it to get all the debris out. And once you have cleaned that, this is what the product looks like. It's not finished because you still need to polish it. And I skipped the polishing steps, but then here is the completed gold crown. It took a while, there were a lot of steps, but I have to say, I'm pretty pleased with the way it turned out. everybody today it is monday and i believe it is um, september 4th and i don't have school today because it's labor day here in the u.s we have labor day off which is wonderful and i'm just going to quickly get ready because i'm going to go to school to practice for my class two amalgam prep i do have my final on that this wednesday so i have a lot to practice on so i am here at school but hopefully school is open that would suck if I came all the way here and I couldn't get in. Hey guys, so I'm back at home and I've been taking notes and studying. 
have my final study schedule here and um, of course it never goes as planned but today is a Monday with no school and I studied for, I didn't study, I practiced for rest or practical and I listened and took notes for my um, pathology skin lecture and I'm going to have to learn it. But I have all these other things that I want to do that I hopefully get done today, but I highly doubt it. Well, in fact, during a pathologist learns to do that, um, when they're studying pathology, they estimate age yeah. by the teeth that are broken through the person's body to know whether they are also like my friend. Good morning, everybody. So today is Sunday, and it's the Sunday before finals week. I have five finals coming up, and on Monday, I have radiology and restorative and then on Tuesday I have um, patient assessment Wednesday I have um, pathology and then Thursday I have um, periodontics so busy busy week I have lots of study trying my best to remain calm it's been quite a while since I last talked to you and this is the progress that I've made for some of my like final review thingy that my teacher talked about like the tips and he said that the final is easier than the midterm i don't know if i want to believe that hey everyone so i finally um finished my finals week which was amazing and um i'm really sorry i haven't been vlogging mostly because i've been really like overwhelmed with finals now that it's over with i have some um, chores to do because I have been neglecting them. <laughs> Sorry mom if you're watching this but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get started to cleaning the house. <laughs> 